Welcome back everyone. Android 13 has just officially came out in a developer beta, very early beta, and my Pixel 4a that's on the right is actually on Android 13. My Android 12 device, that's my Pixel 5a, is running Android 12, who'd have guessed? Now, as you can tell, there's very little difference. If I just go ahead and kind of scroll through, I mean, I can go through like this, there's going to be very little difference that you're going to be able to figure out. And the main reason for this is because a developer beta really doesn't bring that much craziness. In a couple of weeks, most probably a couple of months, we're going to start seeing some bigger changes but i will still tell you even though android 13 is here you know it's going to be bringing a lot of cool things in the future i would not recommend installing this beta at all there's a lot of different issues that are going to be happening and even installing the beta is pretty easy now i still wouldn't recommend installing it it's just not going to make any sense whatsoever now if i go and click here one of the more interesting things that i saw is right under here it says android version tiramisu if you remember not too long ago android actually stated or google stated that they would no longer be using you know actual you know dessert names but it looks like they went back to it which is very interesting now some of the cool features that android 13 actually brings is a couple of new settings were under quick tiles that is starting to bring a lot more customizability to our toggles also i love how the toggles look on android 13 i think they look great there's also some more settings that have changed under wi-fi permissions so we now have some cooler wi-fi options which is really awesome to see and we also have themed icons potentially coming. Now, Android 12, I think, first of all, looked great. I didn't have too many complaints about it, like I mentioned before. I think everything looks awesome. We have a lot of cool little things that came on the back end, new newer widgets, everything like that, and everything looks great. However, one thing that even with Android 12, a lot of people were complaining about was kind of the customizability. Uh, Android 12 looks a lot more different, in my opinion. But with Android 13, we actually do get a lot of newer options like themed icons. So I don't even know how to you know, actually enable it. But I am trying to go ahead and try to find it, so it's probably not going to be under widget. Maybe if we click wallpaper and style, we may be able to see something. So we do have this option that says themed icons. Now this is really cool. We also have this app grid as well, which I don't think is a newer feature, but it could have been brought. So under themed icons, if we go ahead and click it, you can see some things just changed up here. And if I go and click basic colors, maybe if we change these colors, things can actually change on the whole entire UI. So if I go and click on this little purple icon, if I go back home, you can see the icons do actually end up changing. Now, this is actually really interesting, and I'm actually kind of a fan of that. So if we make our way back over here, for example, let's go and turn off the dark theme. Let's go back into our home screen. You can see these icons look different, and that is actually really awesome, and I am a humongous fan of that. If we make our way back over here, you can see pretty much, I mean, we can change our app grid as well, which I don't think we had that on Android 12. Now, personally, I think this is awesome, and this will start making things, you know, look visibly different on both versions of Android. As I mentioned before, something like Android 12 still looks great. I don't really have too many complaints about it, but with something like Android 13, it's actually kind of nice looking having some different you know differences like this on the bottom and having more customizability settings like this is really cool now as you can see with the previous version of android we still have a lot of customizability we can always change our wallpaper we can change our launcher as well so now we just changed it here which i thought i was on noble launcher but i guess not but there's still a lot of capability with android 12 and i still think this is a very cool version of android but as i mentioned stay on android 12 or android 11. i would not recommend going up to android 13. there's a lot of cool features that are going to be added and i do think it's going to be a really cool version of android but going up to android 13 makes absolutely no sense to me there's going to be a lot of glitches there's going to be a lot of problems and this is a developer beta like i mentioned this is not even like a full-on public beta so there's going to be issues no matter what you do and there's absolutely no censuses but it's weird that it still says android version 12 so maybe they still haven't gotten around to actually change the actual android version maybe it still thinks we're like on android 12 or android 12l not too sure but the big thing to keep in mind is to stick on your version of android do not go on android 13 and i do kind of want to state that there's still glitches there's still lots of issues but it is very interesting to see the differences between these two versions of android so I'm excited for Android 13. I can't wait for this version to come out, but I guess we'll see what happens in the future. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.